Two hands. All right, so explain I what you're doing now. I floured my hands so it doesn't stick as much when I get the dough out. So you put your hands in the flour. Show me how you do that. So I'm just pulling off some so I can roll it. And then I'm going to flour my counter a lot and my rolling pin so I can roll it out and cut it. So you're putting flour on the rolling pin, you're putting well, flour on the counter. Well, just to make sure it's all dry. And... And now we're rolling it out. I hear some weird bells going off. You do? Where? I don't know. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> In the house? Yeah, it sounds like an alarm somewhere. All right, so now we're rolling this out and she's and she's reflowering it each time. And how thin do you make it? Well, I'm gonna make it a little thicker than I did last time. I made it pretty thin. So that's probably a little thicker. And I'm gonna cut my first. All right, so your cutter is very interesting. Explain this cutter this to us. This is called like a ravioli cutter. And so it makes kind of a, a ribbony looking line. Yeah. And then I'm going to make a skinny one here. Do two of those on that way. So you kind of you kind of want them long, uh -huh. kind of rectangular. They can be long or short, but I'm gonna do them. And I noticed yeah. you put some powder on the. I put just a little flour on here so it won't stick. Now, Stella says you should have two people doing it, one cutting and one for frying. But I'm deciding to go ahead and cut and lay out and do it all first, and then I'll fry it all at one time. So we're just going to make a couple plates of these and then we're going to fry make the rest of the dough on these. Yes. Okay. And we're going to use the same oil from yesterday. No, gross. Oh, I was just saying that's what they do at the stores usually. I wouldn't. It's all burned. Look how much faster than yesterday. Oh my gosh. That's because you're a professional. You know, when you have help, it takes longer. Quinn? These might be too, well, no, they feel pretty good. We'll see. I think they're going to be perfect. I just remember Stella's were definitely thicker than the ones I made. Okay. I have so to get off my dough that. You need more powder. Oh, you're that's sticking so it doesn't stick again. I get all Oh, so off. you got to get, get, get the moisture out. Yeah. So that's why you do that. So it doesn't stick. Now, is it nice and dry? Can you put new flour down? All right. That looks cool. And now we gotta stick our hands in there and then gr grab that with, and we're gonna knead that. She mushes it into a ball. I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing it. She's doing fantastic. And you can see it's kind of thick right here and as she rolls it out, it gets thinner and thinner. And if I'm not careful, I could get hit with that thing. Many a man has succumbed to the rolling pin from off. Oh, this is gonna be a lot. This is more. We're gonna need a couple plates. It's a lot of area. Whoops. Oh, you did Not the wrong matters. side. <laughs> it's 
Tripoli. Bam, looks good. Okay, those are coming up nice and easy. All right, so now we need another, do we need another plate? Oh. See that got a little sticky. Oh, but she got it up anyway. All right, let's hit that one over there. A little more powder over here. Bam, back at it. Trying a new technique using a spatch. Whoops. And this flour that you use is just regular old flour? Regular all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. And what um, brand? Don't know. Publix? <laughs> no, it's the um, one that everyone uses. Pillsbury? Probably. If this is really good, I'm making more of this. <laughs> I think it might be fantastically delicious. The, the question is, how do we make the rum part of it? That's easy. That I do over the, the stove top. When it's all done, I'll do it. Oh, okay. All right, we just have another ball. I only have one ball left. One ball left, and we're ready to get to the uh, boiling of the oil and uh, the drizzle. Bam, done. All right, now we got to get the moisture off. Now, most people work on a wooden board. I don't have a wooden board, so I don't know if it's much better or not. Our last ball of dough. And powdering up the roller. See the process of this angle. I'm gonna try doing it, doing it strong over this time and see if that's helpful. Bam, here we go. We're almost ready for the oil aspect of this situation. Yeah, now I gotta put the oil in. Get that all heated up. Now 
crease I made a little thinner. If you, if you touch them next to each other because of the dough, they, they'll stick together. So you try to not touch them. One more, please. 